Ja, jag ser bara ändå, det var två här tidigare idag. First time seeing this extreme big animal. It's hard to walk in the snow without any show snowshoes, but they are just in a couple hundred meters. So we're going to try to sneak a little further. Ever since I left Svalbard in August 2022, I have longed back to this beautiful place. This remote island is a paradise for wildlife photographers with so much to photograph. Even though it was awesome in summer, I still wanted to go back there when Svalbard was covered in that white blanket of snow to photograph the reindeer, the arctic fox in the winter fur. But I also wanted to photograph the ptarmigan with that white plumage against the snow. And my dream finally came true. Just as we arrived, Otke, our guide, called me up and he told me that he had a surprise for us. And we should bring our camera equipment as soon as possible. Welcome. Thank. Hello, hello. And he told us that we need a wide angle lens for this. What do I have in front of me? It's a whale rust. It's a whale rust. <sighs> How lucky can we be here laying on a beach? A huge male whale rust weighing over 700 kilograms. Ah, what is Oh, nice. Never a test. First time seeing this extreme big animal live laying in front of me here, relaxed with a beautiful backdrop with the mountains and I can actually photograph with my wide-angle lens and my set 6 here. So I kind of wish for more. I hope the images are turning out great with the backdrop of the mountains here. So that is what I'm aiming for. I've taken enough pictures with the 600 millimeter. Now I'm all in for in like including the environment as well. But I should have left my gloves behind there because my hands are starting to get cold. But other than that, perfect start to our trip to Svalbard. I cannot wish for more. Look.
time to leave the whale rest alone now and head back to the hotel and get some food and just a quick rest before going out in the field again looking for maybe the king aider that would be awesome and photograph some cool waterfalls in beautiful light hopefully though it comes with perfect day to photograph the waterfall so let's head back get some food and out again And this is our room for the next four days. It's not big, but it is uh, quite comfortable and a place to sleep. And we got view of a little valley here of coal mining and uh, the mountains. Nice, so nice to be back here in Svalbach. And I cannot wait for the adventure to begin. Look, the reindeer has been here. This day keeps getting better and better. I hope you can hear me. There's a little bit more wind up here. I don't know if you can hear me, but there's a lot of wind here. We spotted ptarmigans in a hillside here. So, we're going to try to photograph them. They're so beautiful in the winter with the snow as well. But it's hard to walk in the snow without any show snowshoes. But they are just in a couple of hundred meters. So we're going to try to sneak a little further. So, hey, nice, I love this. So here I am, getting my first images of a white ptarmigan in the snow, in beautiful backlight. Oh, I don't know if you can see it on the screen here, but look at that beautiful male. Oh, look. Wow. Oh, this was nice. This was nice. I love Svalbach. This is my first day. I hope if it continues like this the other days, I'm a happy, happy man. But already happy to photograph the ptarmigans, the reindeer, and some uh, whale rice today. <sighs> I can go to bed happy today. 
I could not help myself before going to bed to photograph the waterfalls, beautiful light and calm water. The first day was perfect. Just right in front of me. <laughs> 